Car theft has become a multi-billion dollar criminal enterprise. Vehicle thefts or break-ins are people's biggest concerns right now. Chicago and D.C. suffering from an over 100 percent rise in motor vehicle thefts. While Durham, North Carolina has seen a staggering 172 percent jump from this time last year. Under the cover of night, two men stalk the side of this Miami home. One in a red hoodie holds a black box blinking green that in a matter of moments steals the signal from a key fob inside, allowing his accomplice to use a second device. He pops open the door of this SUV and the pair drives away with another man's car. And many are ending up in other countries and continents. A skilled car thief can strip down a car and sell it for its parts, and stripping it down only takes about 30 minutes. Thieves breaking in and taking certain high-value parts like airbags or driving away with the car altogether. Hi, welcome back to Joe Blogs. If you've had to renew your motor vehicle insurance recently, you may have noticed that the price has gone up significantly, potentially more than 50%. And one of the reasons why insurance has gone up so dramatically over the last 12 months is that we've seen a huge increase in car crime and car theft. And one of the reasons for that has been the advent of keyless technology. These days, we're all very comfortable walking around with a fob in our pockets, which you can press to unlock your car, and you don't even have to put a key in anymore to start the engine. You just push a button and off you go. And whilst you might think that that's a great step forward in terms of the developments of technology, it's also made it much easier for thieves to be able to steal your car. Car thieves no longer need to carry around lots of equipment and break the window on your car. These days, they can simply do it using electronics. So in today's video, I'll have a look at the two most common ways that cars are stolen today. We'll then look at the car theft statistics and see which brands are being stolen the most. We'll also talk about an interesting TikTok trend where TikTokers posted videos of them stealing Hyundai and Kia cars, which led to a massive increase in the theft of those vehicles. We'll have a detailed look at what's happened to insurance costs over the last 12 months. I'll then talk to you about ways that you can prevent your car being stolen so that you can sleep soundly after watching this video. And then finally today, I'll wrap up with my summary and talk about what the potential impact of electric vehicles may have on insurance charges going forward. But before we get started on all of that, once again, I'd like to say thank you so much to everybody that supported the channel. If you bought me a coffee or sent me a YouTube super thanks or signed up as a patron or a member, thank you so much. Genuinely appreciate that. Car thefts in 2023 are at an all-time high, and one of the reasons is the advent of keyless technology and increased dependence upon electronics. The majority of cars that have been built in recent years now have keyless technology, where a fob controls the entry point to the car, and also you need to have the fob in the car to be able to drive it off. And the way that car fobs communicate with the car is by emitting a signal which the electronics in the car can detect and therefore can decide whether or not that key is in the car and therefore allow you to drive the vehicle. But the problem with the key fob emitting a signal is that it is doing it constantly, even if you're not driving the car and you leave it in your house. And because the fob is constantly emitting this signal, it means that criminals can intercept it, copy it, and then replicate it, which enables them to then fool your vehicle into believing that that car fob is in the car and allow the criminals to drive off with it. And if you steal a car using this method, it's called a relay theft. And we'll have a look at that in detail in just a moment. But even if criminals don't have access to your key fob, there is another method of being able to steal your vehicle using electronics by hacking into the car's central computer system. So let's have a look how easy it is for criminals to be able to steal a car using the relay theft method. This footage, which was taken in the United Kingdom, shows two criminals stealing a Mercedes in less than one minute. As you can see, they pulled up in their own vehicle and they are now walking towards the house that this car is parked up outside. Now, this car is locked, so they can't get entry to the vehicle. But the guy's now walking towards the house as an electronic device, which is picking up the signal that the fob for the key for the car is emitting. And he's picked that up and he's now relayed it to the other guy. 
It's opened the car door, he's got inside the car, and what he's now doing is replicating that system to fool the vehicle into thinking that the key is now in the car, and that will enable him to switch the engine on and then drive the vehicle away. And the other guy's now going back to the door, presumably because he needs to replicate the key fob signal again. They may have lost the signal for some reason. He's then sending it to his friend in the car. The car is now started up. You can see that the lights are on. They need to move their own vehicle out of the way and they are driving away this Mercedes in less than one minute. They didn't use any sort of forced entry. They just used electronics to steal that vehicle. And this footage shows a similar incident. You can see that they're holding up a wire to pick up the signal from the key fob, which is presumably somewhere close to the front door. They've now picked up that signal. They've sent it to the guy who's standing close to the car. The car has now been started and they are driving that vehicle away. The other form of stealing a car electronically is by hacking into the car's computer system. And in order to do that, you need to get into the car. And in a lot of car theft situations, people are actually leaving their cars unlocked, potentially accidentally. You may forget to press your fob to lock it. And the way that a lot of criminals are identifying unlocked cars is through their wing mirrors. Because many vehicles these days, when you lock them, the wing mirrors actually close over. So if you drive up and down a road and you can see cars that have their wing mirrors out, particularly the new models, then that means that that car is potentially unlocked and allows these criminals to get into your vehicle and then override the computer system. Key programmers that you can just plug into the vehicle's diagnostic port or onto the CAN bus network. And what's a CAN bus network? Basically, think of it as the nervous center in the vehicle where everything has to process through. And so once you get access to the CAN bus, network, you can control the car. You can pretty much do things such as delete keys, program new keys, and just basically speak to the vehicle. Okay, it's asking me to put the key next to the console. Press the, okay, uh, the unlock button. Once I do that, it should be good. It works. That fast. So once again here, you can see how quickly criminals will be able to steal your vehicle if the doors are unlocked and they can get inside and access its computer system. Now, obviously not all vehicles are stolen electronically. Lots of thieves are still using the old fashioned methods. And two brands that have been heavily impacted by this are Kia and Hyundai. A rise in Kia and Hyundai thefts is connected to a viral TikTok challenge that shows people how to use a USB cable to start the cars without a key. The challenge targets cars made between 2015 and 2021, and the spread of these videos has caused an increase in thefts. The online videos of Kias and Hyundais being stolen have been seen millions of times. Growing problem across the country. Police say the process is extremely fast, taking only between 20 and 30 seconds. Just last week, Prince George's County Police in Maryland arrested a 17-year-old who they say stole this Kia Optima and say they found this USB cable on the floor, which they believe was used to start the car. Some U.S. cities have reported that 60% or more of their auto theft reports now involve Hyundais or Kias. From 2011 to 2022, Hyundai and Kia did not equip cars in the U.S. with engine immobilizers and anti-theft device. Many insurance companies are refusing to insure Kias and Hyundais because of the social media trend. So let's have a look at which brands and models were the most commonly stolen in 2023 in both the USA and the UK. This chart shows the top 10 stolen cars in 2023 in the USA. And as you can see, the Chevrolet pickup, which is actually one of the top 10 most commonly owned vehicles, representing around 1.5% of all vehicles on the road, was the most stolen, with around 50,000 of these vehicles being taken without the owner's permission. The Ford pickup came in at number two, and this is the second most commonly owned vehicle in the country. And in 2023, around 48,000 of these were stolen. The Honda Civic came in at number three with around 27,000 thefts. The Honda Accord came in at number four and also had around 27,000 thefts. The Hyundai Sonata came in at number five with 22,000 thefts. Hyundai Elantra was number six with 20,000 thefts. The Kia Optima, seven with 18,000. The Toyota Camry, number eight with 17,000. The GMC pickup, number nine, with 17,000. And the Honda CRV came in at number 10 with 14,000. This chart shows the top 10 stolen cars in 2023 for the United Kingdom. 
and doesn't make good reading for Land Rover owners. The number one stolen vehicle in the UK in 2023 was the Range Rover Velar, with around 2,117 being stolen per 100,000 vehicles on the road. Number two was the Range Rover Sport HSE with 2,102 per 100,000. Number three and four on the list was the Lexus RX 450H. Number five was the Range Rover Sport. Number six was the Range Rover Sport HSE. Number seven was another variety of the Range Rover Velar. Number eight was the Ford Fiesta ZTEC S Red Edition. Number 9 was the Ford Fiesta ZTEC S Black Edition. And number 10 was another variety of the Range Rover Sport. Now, one of the reasons why the Range Rover was so popular in terms of thefts is that the keyless technology that was deployed on the vehicles became very easy for criminals to be able to bypass and steal. And so the relay method that we saw earlier in the video was used on a wide scale basis to take these vehicles. And as the Range Rovers are a high end product, some of these vehicles cost around $250,000 each. They are very valuable in terms of either stealing them to order and sending them overseas or breaking them up for parts, cutting off all of the components and then selling those to chop shops. This chart shows the movement in motor vehicle insurance costs in the USA over the last three years. And you can see that since January 2022, there has been a significant increase in the cost of motor vehicle insurance. Now the scale on the right hand side of this chart is an index and what this shows is that in November 22 the index was sitting at 644 however by November 23 it had increased to 768 which represents a year on year increase of 19%. However obviously this is just a general index it just represents the overall average but if you own one of the vehicles that we just talked about in terms of the ones that are in the top 10 for being stolen then you may have found that your insurance premium has increased by significantly more than 19% year on year. This chart shows the movement in motor vehicle insurance costs in the United Kingdom, dating back to quarter four of 2019. And what this reveals is that motor insurance costs are now the highest that they have ever been in the UK. And the current average of £920 per vehicle represents a year on year increase of more than 58%. And this chart shows the breakdown of the average cost by gender, with the black section representing male costs and the blue section representing female costs. And what this shows is that on average, men are now paying significantly more than women for their car insurance costs, an average of £987 compared with £820. So the differential between male and female drivers is currently £167, which is around 20%. But interestingly, as a result of the EU Gender Directive in 2012, insurance companies can't actually use a person's gender when calculating insurance prices, but men normally pay more for their car insurance despite this because they tend to have a higher risk profile than women. They tend to drive more expensive cars with bigger engines and more technology. And if they have an accident, their car insurance claims tend to be higher than they are for a female driver. And this chart shows the difference in the average insurance costs by age. And as you can see, 39 year olds are paying on average 989 pounds. 18 year olds are paying £2,995 and bizarrely 17 year olds who by definition have less experience than 18 year olds are paying £2,613. So you may now be sitting there worried about your key fob for your car, that somebody's going to walk past your front door, steal the signal and then walk away with your car. So what can you do about that? Well, you'd be pleased to hear that there are relatively simple ways in order to stop people from being able to pick up that signal. So let's hear from an expert on the matter. Right now, fobs are communicating with the vehicle in a, in a way that this communication can be replicated and a man in the middle can just copy that and then instead of using the fob, just break into your car and steal it. The way to uh, avoid this incident is just use a very simple uh, solution. Put your fob in a tin can. So that's a straightforward piece of advice that's easy to follow when you're at home. 
But what do you do when you're out and about in your car? Because your key fob is still transmitting that signal and it can be picked up by criminals from your pocket or your purse or your coat or anywhere. So if you're looking to protect yourself in all circumstances, let's hear what you can do. Or if you're taking that in your pocket, wrap it in aluminum foil. Can you show us exactly how you would wrap it? Sure. You take the foil. Back to you doing that with a sandwich to your kids. And so do you feel like this is paranoia or is this just pragmatic? It's not paranoia, it's physics, okay? The communication can be blocked with what is called a Faraday cage. This very simple uh, wrapping blocks the electromagnetic waves to go out, to get out or get in from the vehicle and from the fob into the vehicle. So if you would like to avoid this incident, then you should do that. Okay, so if you're following that advice, you need to make sure that you've got a large supply of tin foil sitting by your front door that you can pick up and wrap your keys up in when you're not using them. But there is actually another method. For about six bucks at Home Depot, you can buy something like this, a black box. They sell pouches as well, six to $12. You stick the fob inside here, it blocks the signal that the fob emits. But there is actually another safety system that you can apply retrospectively to your car an aftermarket security system that requires you to enter a pre-programmed code using existing factory buttons in the vehicle to authorize it to start. Without that secondary authentication, the car won't go anywhere. So what's the summary and conclusion today? Well, I wanted to post this video because we've talked a lot about inflation over the last two years. And one of the factors that feeds into inflation is insurance costs. And I'm sure a lot of people who are watching this video own at least one vehicle, potentially multiple vehicles. And over the last 12 months, we've seen a significant increase in insurance costs for those vehicles. We talked about it earlier in the video, but in the UK, it's more than 50%. And in the US, it's around 20%. But I'm sure for the bigger vehicles and the ones that are being targeted by criminals, it's more than 20%. And that's a significant chunk. When you think that the government is currently trying to reduce inflation to 2% in the UK and the US and many other countries. If you've got insurance costs rising by 20, 30, 40 or 50%, that's going to have a really big impact on the basket of goods that's used when you're calculating inflation. So firstly, I wanted to raise insurance costs as an issue. And then I wanted to go into talking about car theft because that's one of the major contributing factors right now as to why insurance companies are raising their premiums so much because they're having to pay out a lot for all of these vehicles that are being stolen and then they average out all of the cost and that's how we get an increase in our premiums. And one of the reasons that we're seeing a big increase in car theft is that the development of technology has actually made it easier for criminals to be able to take your vehicle and drive it away. No longer do they need to smash the window and start hot wiring the vehicle. They can just walk up with some fancy electronic equipment pick up the signal from your key fob and then drive away in your car and nobody's any the wiser. They don't look like criminals. If they get stopped by the police, it's not obvious that they've stolen that vehicle because there won't be lots of bits all over the car. There isn't a screwdriver sitting in the ignition. Unless, of course, you're driving a Kia or a Hyundai. And if you are, it's probably been stolen already. Because as we saw from the video, one of the TikTok challenges that was set around a year ago was for people to steal these vehicles. And rather handily, the people who are posting those videos showed people exactly how to do it. And crazily, kids decided to start following that trend. They were stealing vehicles, joyriding them, just for the fun of making a video. And as a result of that, the insurance premium for those particular vehicles has gone off the scale. And as we saw earlier in the video, some insurance companies actually won't provide any insurance for those vehicles. And I think that's a really interesting trend because what that's telling us is that social media has actually encouraged people to start stealing vehicles, which is an absolute 
absolutely insane concept. It's one thing doing an ice bucket challenge or something else that goes around on TikTok where people are doing things and then encouraging other people to do it, maybe just for fun. But if you're actually being encouraged to get involved in criminal activities, surely TikTok should be clamping down on that. They should be eradicating all of those videos and not allowing millions of people to continue viewing them. But if we put the TikTok trend to one side and talk about the electronic means that criminals are currently using to steal vehicles, it does seem incredible to me that the car manufacturers haven't included some sort of personal ID system when you get into a vehicle. If you think about your mobile phone, whenever you want to use it, you have to input a code or use face recognition or something that identifies you as the owner of that phone. You don't just pick it up and use it. But when you get into a car, as long as you've got the key, anybody at all can drive off with that vehicle. And the problem that we've identified in today's video is that the key fobs are constantly emitting these signals. They're speaking to the car permanently. And that means that criminals can walk past your house, pick up that signal because it's transmitted over quite a long distance and then copy it and then walk away with your car. Now, if you think about the technology involved and the cost of vehicles, surely it would be relatively simple for the car manufacturers to have some sort of code that you had to enter when you get into the vehicle. So you would need the key fob in the first place, but then you get something that comes up on your dashboard that says input your personal code. So you could put a four or six digit code in or potentially even have face recognition. And therefore only the people who are authorized to drive that car would be able to start the vehicle and drive it off. And that just seems crazy to me that we've had mobile phones with these personal protection systems for years and years, but car manufacturers, even though cars are significantly more expensive than phones and we're using them on a daily basis, they haven't bothered putting the technology in that would enable them to stop these people stealing all of these vehicles. So the overall summary of today's video is that over the last 12 months, we have seen a significant increase in car thefts those car thefts on the whole, if we exclude Kia and Hyundai, are highly sophisticated and electronic, and they are utilizing the computer systems in the vehicles against those vehicles. Those systems are actually making it easier for criminals to steal these vehicles. And as a result of the huge increase in thefts, we've seen a massive increase in insurance costs. And until the car manufacturers sort things out, it's likely that those insurance costs will continue rising. There is also a possibility that the increase in the sale of electric vehicles will increase premiums further because on average, electric vehicles are more expensive and therefore there's a higher risk of payout for the insurance companies if they're stolen. So the overall summary of today's video is that insurance costs have skyrocketed over the last 12 months and it's likely that they will remain high for the foreseeable future as a result of the continued risk of motor theft. So hopefully you found today's video useful, informative and thought provoking. If you've liked what I've said, then please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end and here's something to put a smile on your face.